Today, we are doing our video on Loyak, an ICO that starts on June 15th that actually scored super high on my ICO score sheet and also on my coin score sheet. These are two completely different rating systems that hopefully you've been watching my videos and know what they are. I'll let you know what the rating is later on in this video. Welcome YouTube to Altcoin Picks. First, I want to thank my whole community, especially my community in Discord. You guys have been awesome. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you guys. With that being said, ICOs seem to be fairly hot right now. So the ICO we're covering today, as I said earlier, is Loyak. But before we do, don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, if you haven't smashed that subscribe button, also the team at Loyak has reached out to me to do a sponsored video on their project. But of course, I reserve the right to be honest and objective for all of you. Plus, the point of my coin reviews are to be informative and not shilling at all. As you can see, I've completely transformed them to just give you the information and let you make your own decision. With that being said, let's get started. So what will this coin review consist of? What is Loyak? their token purpose, their team and advisors, their competition, their partners, if they have a prototype, the market cap, the roadmap, and then the pros and cons of the project. And that's where we'll talk about the scores they got on both of my sheets. So what is Loyak? It's a blockchain enabled platform which transforms how enterprise collaborate and share data and value between business network participants based on identity, relationship, and business rules. So they will deliver key features through number one, secure information exchange. Building operations around a business network begins by ensuring all users get access to the right shared data, ensuring that this data is verifiable, permissioned, and immutable. Next, we have workflows. So Vega supports data workflows between all business network applications across the blockchain. Individual parties can control and track access to their proprietary data or content. Then we have relationship management. This project's relationship management capabilities enable enterprises to create and manage relationships among participants of the value web with a goal of maximizing the output of the ecosystem. So the Loyak offers a patent pending business platform that enables secure permission sharing of data and valued movement through smart contract with business rules and security policies leading to a greatly improved security efficiencies and distributed governance. And of course, you can get so much more information on their website, go to their white paper, it's super extensive and it gives you much more details than what I'm talking about. Also, their Telegram, super active, they have admins there and their team. So now what about the token purpose? And of course, I'm going to their medium where they have a pretty good explanation of this. So the token is required to interact and transact within the Loyak powered business network. It enables permissioning, propagation and providence of data value and rules across the business network. So permissioning, the Loyak token carries the permissioning rules that set the appropriate visibility and access control rules for the network, ensuring that confidential data is accessed by only authorized parties, which is huge with the blockchain, huge with businesses. Next, we have propagation. So the token propagates network specific data, governance rules and policies that control how the data is used and propagates and updates based on identity, relationship, location, segments and user behavior, ensuring the business is conducted in adherence with the rules of the business network. Then we have providence. So this ensures single source of truth for all data protected by the Loyak token. This will allow full province and audibility and the data can be tracked and auditable across company boundaries. That is not an easy word to say. <laughs> and then finally, the token also specifies the common interface, standard formats and rules for data interchange and interoperability so multiple parties can interact and transact seamlessly with each other. So this token has a lot of utility which is something we like to see. We hate seeing tokens that really have no reason to be there. Love this, good job. So next, let's check out their team. And this part is huge. Go check out their team, check out their LinkedIn. First, we have Salim Ali, I think that's his name. He's the CEO and co-founder. So he was the VP of marketing at SAP and has been in the IT space for over 20 years. SAP is a huge IT company. Anybody that's been in IT should know who they are. 
especially if you're a software developer, I'm sure you know who SAP or what the company SAP is. Next, we have Jitu Telang. He's the co-founder and chief technology officer, and he has some significant experience as a senior analyst while also being in the IT space for over 20 years. Again, I love seeing that 20 years. It's like that master star I used to have. Next, we have Tesvan. I'm just going to st stop there. He's the blockchain tech architect and dev lead at Loyak. He worked at SAP from 2001 to 2015 and lead he was the lead product owner and lead development architect. Next we have Jamie's Abraham. He's the blockchain solutions architect for Loyak. He was the solutions architect at National Bank of Canada and also worked at SAP and Infosys. And then finally, I'm going to end it here and finish it up with Sarish, I think that's how you say his name, who is the chief product officer at Loyak, was the VP of product marketing at SAP and has been in the IT space for almost 30 years. Check out their team. They have a very high score on their team for the ICO score sheet and the coin score sheet. Next, let's check out their advisors. So there's three I want to really look at and First is Anthony Thomas. So this guy, in my opinion, is their top advisor. He is the CIO at Nissan, was the senior vice president at GE Digital and senior vice president at Citibank. This guy definitely qualifies as a top-notch advisor. <laughs> Next, we have Patricia. She's the senior vice president at McAfee and was VP at Cisco and AT&T before that. So again, a top-notch advisor. After that, we finish with a Jonathan. So this guy was the head of SAP Digital, of course, at SAP, and is president of the San Jose Sharks. Those are three super huge advisors that if you put on any other project would still be considered superstars. So of course, I believe they got a maximum score on the advisor, so an A plus on the advisor score, uh, part of the coin score sheet. So in terms of their competition, I really had to go into the telegram and kind of figure out who counts as their competition. And of course, if you can think of anybody else, let me know. The more information we get here, the better. But they were saying a company called Cryptic. So it seems that they're pretty unique. Not much competition, always a plus. Next, let's look at their partners. So to me, they have two main partners. First is Civic, and we all know who Civics are. They secure and protect identities with the blockchain. They were super huge around October. They're still big in my opinion. I still think they're gonna be great. After that, we have the first one, Emphasis. So Emphasis is a leading IT solutions provider with over 154,000 followers on LinkedIn. I know that doesn't mean too much, but it shows that at least they're there. <laughs> they have something going. Those are their two. Everyone else is kind of small. So this is kind of a part that doesn't really help them too much on the coin score sheet. Either way, at least they have two that, that, that are there and important. Okay, so now for their prototype, they actually made a video for me to show you guys and i've been waiting for this for a little bit and i've waited for this video to be created once i got this because i wanted to show you this so i'm going to take myself away here and here we go wait there we go So as you can see here, they have the app going on a cell phone. It's pretty awesome to see when we have situations like this where we have something being shown in front of us. This is them talking to supplier A, obviously. On the bottom, you can see there's content so you can see what they're doing. Little captions.
as you can see there's a lot going on here you might want to watch it a few times and just watch the captions so you have an idea what's going on first time i watched this i wasn't really paying attention to the captions and <laughs> i was lost Looks like we got out of the the phone and went to what it will look like on the, the web app. Here we're looking at their GitHub. Uh, I thought this was a really nice addition to the video. This is something that's very underrated. I mean, people have a lot of stuff going on in their GitHub. There's so many projects out there that are hyped so much and have nothing, no code at all, or it's a private, quote unquote. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> so next, let's look at their market cap or token metrics. I might change the name from market cap to that. I think that fits it better. So we're looking at a fairly high hard cap of $45 million. Not a huge fan of that, but it is what it is. Next, it's about 70 cents per coin. Now, of course, here it says 0.5. That's going in euros, so I, I transferred it to USD for you guys. After that, we're looking at 60 million tokens available, 177 total supply, so 34% of the tokens will be on sale for the ICO. And now we have some bonuses. So from pre-ICO through June 14th, we're looking at 35%. Then June 15th, through June 25th, if you go over or if you pay with over 10 ETH, it's a 20% discount. And then 26th to July 6th, 20% discount. And that's if you paid for over 10 Ethereum again. And 15% if it's under, then July 7th to 17th, 10% for 10 ETH. <laughs> and then 7% for under. And then July 18th to July 22nd, no discounts at all. So now with the roadmap, we start with Q2 of 2018. It's about where we're at right now. We have the token sale, which is coming up next month, and the platform version 2 build. Then we have Q3 and Q4. We have the token sale reconciliation, and then version 2 platform release, Lighthouse customer acquisition. Then 2019, the goals here are customer acquisition and pilot industry solutions. We have H1 tech partnerships and launch industry packages. Then we have H2 platform blockchain API launch. This should be a huge milestone in my opinion. And then they have continued customer acquisition and platform extensions. Then they have 2020 goals as partner ecosystem and industry solution expansion. And then all the way to 2021, they have network and solution expansion. And of course, the further we get in here, the more I expect them to make it more detailed. So now finally, the pros and cons of this project. First, let's start with the pros. Of course, as you saw, they have a stellar star-studded team that actually earned an A plus on my coin score sheet and a top score on the ICO score sheet, which is actually not easy to do. And I think the only other one that was close to doing that was Wanchain. So they got this because they've held some very prestigious and high positions at huge tech companies, of course, such as SAP. Again, they have some amazing advisors getting an A plus on my coin score sheet there and a top score on my ICO score sheet. So this has nothing I've seen from an ICO before. Granted, I've only added, I think, three ICOs on my coin score sheet. 
After that, they have some big clients. As you can see here, these are their customers. We have SAP, which is already using the platform. We have Infosys and hopefully some bigger companies. I heard the word Accenture maybe. Of course, I love Accenture, that's my company. That would be awesome. That's huge, the number one consulting firm. If they started using this, that could make this worth a lot of money. After this, the company's actually been around for five years, something that's becoming more and more popular and something that's great to see in any ICO that you invest in, that's a huge plus. After that, they got a 96.88% on my score sheet. Now, that is really high and I haven't actually seen that on my coin score sheet yet, except for past ICOs, like Wanchain got 100. So this kind of bothers me and it makes me want to reevaluate how I score this. And, and I'll tell you why. It's not because I think they're bad, because after what we've seen their team, the project seems great, but the hype is not there. They have absolutely no hype. I think they only have 3,000 people in their telegram and it seems <laughs> that hype is becoming more and more important which is awful to say but it is especially for short-term games long-term games hype in the ico might not mean that much but here it does now for the uh, coin score sheet they received an 80 percent on the project this is still getting adjusted because they're not on the exchange yet so this will probably go up actually but the project score, 80% is super high for an ICO. And again, this is basing it off the project. We're not basing it off a of hype. And that's another one. I need to know your opinion. Should we base more points on hype? What do you think? In the ICO, it kind of makes sense. This one, not so much. Now, what about their cons? So the hard cap, super high hard cap. I told you that I'm not huge on any hard caps over 20 million. Really disappoints me that they're that high, but again, nothing I can do. Well, I just talked about there's little to no hype, like actually nothing. And it's good and it's bad. So it's bad because it's gonna be hard for them to make the amount of money that they need to fund their ICO. It's good because if they hit their soft cap, then the market cap's super low. <laughs> so anyways, with that, I need to know if I need to revamp my ICO score sheet to just, as I said, hype needs to be more important. I'm going to talk to my team about that today. We actually have a meeting. It should be starting actually probably right now. So I need to hurry up. <laughs> Anyways, that's my video for Loyak. It was, like I said, a great project. Awesome team. Awesome advisors. Scored awesome on my coin score sheet. Awesome on my ICO score sheet. Let me know what you think of it. Also, I would love suggestions on how you think hype matters. Let me know in my Discord. My MVPs, I'm really reaching out to you here. Let me know in the comments. Anybody, please. It matters what your opinion is. Thank you so much. Do you think this coin can be successful? If not, give me your reasons. Let me know what you think they are doing wrong. Anyways, thank you so much. Don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, smash that subscribe button below. And I'll see you next time.